Liverpool really is a destination that has it all. It's got a vibrant culture, first-class hospitality, and it's got one of the most diverse conference and event venues in the UK, which is where we are at today, ACC Liverpool. We're here today to find out how its commitment to sustainability and legacy keeps event organisers and global conferences returning again and again. I'm here with Stephanie McFarlane from ACC Liverpool to hear how the venue is driving sustainability here and in its community and to also hear about its social impact plan. Today we're here right on the waterfront. It's just world around. Um, pretty much in the heart of the city, we're just on the just on the edge. So you have all the amenities that you want. You know, they're your delegates for your easy access to your transport links. You've got your local attractions, your bars and restaurants. So those social elements, but you've also got the beauty of being in quite a peaceful, tranquil setting here on the waterfront. I think what's also quite unique is that we're a campus setting. So we're here at the moment in our convention centre gallery. But to one side of us, we've got our arena. And then over on the opposite side, we've got our exhibition centre. Um, and you actually, they can all run independently as venues with different events taking place, but we can actually open up into one large space and you don't have to go from outside to get from one to venue to the other. So I think that's really quite unique. And our plan is aimed at creating social, economic and environmental impact. Um, and we've kind of streamlined it into five pillars. So we have our people, our community, um, the environment, then it's very much our procurement um, process as well. So as part of our social um, value plan, we've also faced our social value checklist, which I think is what's most kind of relevant to our clients and really, um, you know, showing what we can, how we can help them bring social impact into their events and help them come up with some objectives. Um, so, you know, some ideas from that would be, you know, we're here on the waterfront. It's all about the well-being of your delegates when you're here in the city. So. Why not have a morning jog along the waterfront? Um, and obviously food links into our clients' events as well a lot. So it's really working with them on their food choices and going through that checklist to see what decisions can they make that would really make a bit of a difference. Through that um, proposal stage, sustainability is absolutely up there. You need to find, first and foremost, the venue um, that ticks all those boxes. But then it's, it's sustainability is really what will make you stand out. And if you can really kind of just demonstrate to your client how you can make that journey quite easy, and you've already got a lot of systems and processes in place, um, then that really does help the client and puts them at ease that they know they're in good hands, really. So our strategy plan, um, very much, we, we focused on some key areas. Um, and one of those, one of the key things that we did was become members of ILA, for example, um, which was really key for us because um, we feel like they're quite aligned with our vision. And it's kind of how can we develop and take ourselves further you know and really progress that so it's working with our memberships and our networks you know and being an influencer to our clients as well because some clients will come to us and you know there's not really thought of sustainability then there's some that have um, so it's working with them but our strategy plan goes a bit further than just our clients it's also working with our partners in the city as well. I'm just about to speak to Adrian from ACC Liverpool all about the venue's legacy strategy more specifically how the venue plans to host events here that are going to create a long-lasting positive impact for its community. I think the building itself and the campus has been a legacy since uh, the European Capital of Culture back in 2008. So it's really always been at the heart of what we do and we take it really seriously. So it has been embedded as well in our three-year business plan. So it's one of the key one of the key eight areas that we're looking at over the next three years. So it's always been a huge thing for us. We've always had clients that have come to us wanting to do legacy, and obviously it's become more and more important, particularly in the association market, which is the majority of our business here. So uh, we looked at how we could help clients. Earlier this week, uh, we had our kickoff meeting with our legacy champions. So what we're trying to do is act as a conduit between the client and all the major stakeholders within the city. So whether that's people from public health, education, sustainability, and I suppose the best example of that is that Liverpool's the first local UN hub for like linking everything to the uh, sustainable development goals. So one of our legacy champions is David Connor, who runs that. So it's just these little expertise that we can offer the client where historically they have to research it themselves and that all our legacy champions can react to 
uh, what the goals are within the city so they can make sure that any legacy that happens within the city is maximised and they have the biggest impact to the population. And it's making sure it's just not a one-off. So what we're trying to do is making sure it's a lasting legacy. So hopefully what we launch during or after an event can then roll on to be an annual event within the city so we can have the maximum impact. So we work very closely with one of our stakeholders who are the growth platform, who are the uh, inward investment arm for Liverpool. So three that we could pick quite easily would be life sciences, obviously with the education facilities and also the hospital facilities we've got in the city, which are all world class. Uh, digital manufacturing, again, a huge opportunity in the area for inward investment. And then if we look at trade in particular, uh, we've just got the three port that's been, uh, opened earlier this year in Liverpool as well. It's really up to the client how they use the space and how is most effective for what they want to achieve from their event. So we've got Unison all this week. Uh, they've been using the conference centre here. It sees over 2,000 delegates for over seven days. So for Hall 2, for instance, they're using it for part catering, part back of house and part breakout rooms. Whereas Eurovision used it for a, an artist village and a makeup area. So it really depends what the client wants to use it for. It's fully flexible. So we've already heard about how Liverpool is investing in sustainability and legacy. But what we haven't heard about yet is how it's working with its convention bureau. I'm about to chat to Jenny Jensen. This is a destination that people really want to visit. The Convention Bureau is there as an extension of your team, really. Uh, all the services that we offer are completely free of charge and really we're there to make sure that you make the most out of being in the destination. We, with them, the whole, the whole journey, so from start to finish. And sometimes that can take quite a long time, so you actually become really good friends with the people that you end up working with. But very much from the very beginning, we, can, we will research conferences that we'd like to bring here We'll work with our ambassadors, who are local academics and professionals, through our Club Liverpool programme. So we'll, we have those great relationships within those associations. Um, and then, you know, when they're looking for venues, we offer that free service, venue finding, accommodation bookings. We can help with social programmes. We're kind of holding hands as, all the way through. After Eurovision, our team went to IMEX in Frankfurt and they were inundated with with organizers asking about Liverpool and what was the possibility there obviously they saw ACC Liverpool on the TV amazing obviously music event but saw what was possible in the venue in the city i think everyone saw well i say everyone there was 160 million people watched Eurovision uh, which is a record number for Eurovision so if we we can you know we've been in the homes of 160 million people the, the profile of Liverpool has been raised. So I'm sure conference organisers and tourists alike will have seen the amazing opportunity that the city presents. So what have we learned about ACC Liverpool? It's a venue that is truly committed to positive change. Just look at its social impact plan, its legacy toolkit and its sustainability strategy. Events that come to this city are supported not only by the venue, but also the Convention Bureau. And they even have a wider impact on the community. What's not to love? If you want to learn more about ACC Liverpool, visit acclivercool.com. Or if you want to learn more about the conference sector in general, visit the conference news website linked below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.